Well, hello, I'm Christine and welcome to today's tarot reading for the 5th of December 2022. I'm a little bit late for Australians, but um, wherever you are in the world, you can pick it up. And if you do pick this up at any other time, it can be timeless as well. You'll be meant to see it and there'll be a message there for you to have with the cards. Uh, astrologically, we have the moon has moved into Taurus, which uh, as you know, if you've been following the moon and astrology, the north node is in Taurus and um, the moon will be traveling along to meet up with the node. So you could find that your imagination is heightened and your intuition is heightened and your psychic ability is heightened. But there also could be this sort of sense if you're feeling this overwhelming emotion, you're also going to know intuitively to sort of... Um, just know that take that time out and meditate and also the moon will be moving towards to meet up with uranus uh, i'm unsure of the degrees at the moment uh so uh there will also be this drive to think i'm going to do it and i'm going to do it my way so whatever you're going to do to manage any um, um emotions you got to find out a way to do it and do it in a way that works for you. Um, that's what I'm getting from that. And I've just shuffled those. I'll cut them in a minute and I realise I'm going to have the Angel of Angel by Radley Ballantyne deck. And I just, um, I cleared them and um, worked them with them to get some energy into them. And I thought I would um, cut them into three. Um, if you hear any traffic around us, that just lets you know that life is going on around us as you're watching this video. Um, it's silly season now. <laughs> Once you get into December and Christmas running in Australia because it's sunny and you can move around a lot, it's silly season. And we've been talking about the moon. So we'll put the moons there. And when you're ready, you can just sort of Intuit, let your intuition guide you to one of the moons that you might want um, to, that will have a, a message for you and I'll just quickly do this again and we'll just see what the cards have for us today on this wonderful Monday where I am uh, I'm just going to take it from the top we are in tune with the moon and the moon um, is going to heighten your sensitivities and you're going to pick up um, vibrational energies and be very um, perceptive to energies today you could find yourself doing that and you're also going to want to break free to make change and do it your own way as I was saying with the with um, my little astro talk that I was sort of channeling through there with that but also there's this opportunity to do it your way there's this opportunity with um, this fire energy and Aries energy to be able to do it your way and say it's me and I'm going to center myself and I'm going to make it work for me and you will be able to overcome any obstacles that are people that anyone is pushing you through into the future because you're going to be with these people you've got people in charge here and they're all parts of you um, or they're outside people that are going to guide you whichever way in your environment because this is a, um, a general reading for the collective energy so um, take what fits and leave what doesn't fit but if it's you and it's you're going to be centering that part of you that will can not only take charge in the now but also look to the future and think, I know which way I'm heading with that. Or these are people that are coming in that are going to be of guidance and assistance to you, positive people around you. But ultimately, you can help others as well by saying, well, you can trust your inner self. You have everything that you need inside of you to, to be able to make the change that you want and to be in charge of your own distancy destiny, distancy, <laughs> and 
if with the ten of swords it's like a completion is happening because when this card you go oh no that doesn't end well well what happens is yes you can feel as I said before exhausted a little bit if you're someone that is sensitive and can pick up the um, energies at the moment all the intuitive energies around and the energies of busyness around but if you take that time out the only way is up to pick yourself up and to always remember there's this sort of new day and what what can help you with that and this is where I think um, sometimes I would put another card over the top of the swords but I'm sort of not picking up what's for me it's not coming through with that that you're going to be flat out I just think you're going to have that time out and as I said it's the only way out because the 10 is the end of this sort of cycle um, as you move through it so if you focused for a moment on these and thought which one that you're going to pick if you were to pick the rose quartz moon the message for you is the night of fire and we have two lots of fire energy here so there's something that's going to come up passionate and adventurous and restlessness and there's this sudden event that's going to need attention and it, time is of the essence so you're going to have that focus because you're going to be centered and know what it is you want to do yourself for your future because you've got these strong cards supporting the reading with that with the night of fire energy and as i said we have other fire energy in the read if you pick the um if you pick the quartz quick quartz card then you have the king of air brilliant and impartial professional and diplomatic these cards are new for me um speak your mind with confidence and if you need to seek out professional advice but ultimately you're going to be able to balance mental and emotional considerations you're going to be able to move forward and this person could help because i keep getting with this other read that there would be people around that can help us but also ultimately we're also going to have the ability to help ourselves so it's sort of like we're not alone and we can um, take listen to advice from others but we also can just say well yeah I make the decision I'm going to do it my way with these other cards and then if you have the citrine moon you have the king of earth which is moon in Taurus earth sign nodes in Taurus earth sign Uranus in Taurus earth sign um, I have got the wheel up to have a look what other planets are in earth signs um, I think Pluto's still in Capricorn but there's this earth energy that's going to support us this, so this this could be a person generous professional responsible and practical this person also could be a, that part of you that is successful that part of you that's grounded that part of you that has the confidence to know that you have everything that you need to um, make the most of the situation and to make the changes that you want to make but also to know there's this element of the Midas touch with this person because there's this rainbow here and these beautiful butterflies and uh, you're going to be able to just move forward the way you want to go so it's interesting that we have kings who are that delegate and get advice from other people and then decide which advice they're going to take um in in the read and the emperor and then you have a knight who is very action orientated um, with that so you're going to be able to take the action that you need overall so thank you for watching the video uh, i'd love to hear what your thoughts are and i hope this reading brings you some benefit and um, enjoy your day bye for now